This will be a short video. We will talk about reason to actually debug your hook. These are the hook that we are talking about. And there are two reasons to actually you should debug. The, uh, this. the first reason will be safety, your personal safety. And second is it's better for the fish and it's make it easier for you to release the fish if you are practicing catch and release. Okay, the first reason is personal safety. If you accidentally uh, hook yourself, there's a bug in it. So if you're unlucky, you actually get hooked into yourself. And this bug actually prevent you from uh, uh, remove the hook from your flesh. Okay, as you can see, it's very difficult for you to actually, um, the worst case scenario, you actually hook yourself. And second reason is for catch and release is also better for the fish because the bug actually can do quite a lot of damage to the fish because the bug can actually uh, tear, tear a big hole uh, on the fish mouth when when you are using a hook with a bug to actually debug your hook is actually quite simple you only need to use a plier at which I will demonstrate now to debug the hook if I can get focus basically just a plier and you need to just pinch the bug And there you go. You already debug a hook versus the one that with the hook. As you can see, it's very easy to debug the hook. Just apply it and then you pinch it. There you go. Well, you may ask whether will you lose a fish with, without a bug hook or using a bugless hook. Well, the short answer is no. As long as you are keeping attention on the line uh, with the, between the fish, the tension itself will actually retain the hook on the fish. Without the bug, it's perfectly fine. So, and it's also safer for you, for your personal safety, and it's also better for the fish if you're practicing catch and release. You can give yourself a try to use a barbless hook and experience yourself. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.